Have a look at Yvonne Leno, who I said was has only been serving at 50%, but look how effective he is off first serve, 83% when it goes in the court. I think we tried to call that. McEnroe is claiming that the court still feels dampish all over by his baseline over there. I have to make an important correction, though. I said that Lendl had just a couple of aces, seven, but in fact, he's had 28 already this week. The problem is he, he, puts, he pumps in the big ones, and yet he doesn't get in enough first serve. That's been his problem. When he gets them in, though, he's got an 83% result. Yeah. That's a pretty good dividend to be picking up when the chips are down, and that's when he came through yesterday against Agassi. Well, we kind of addressed this subject yesterday, and I still feel that McEnroe, uh, it's far more important for him to get a, an effective first serve in than it is for him to get a high percentage. Because I think that when he hits that first serve, that his second serve is, is more damaging. Exactly the kind of stuff McEnroe must do all day long against Ivan Lendl. He was able to do it in Dallas, but again, that was a five-set match. McEnroe needed four sets to beat Lendl, but it's a difficult thing to do point after point. The, the percentages, obviously, are, are with Lendl in a two out of three set match that John can't continue to attack return like that and come in. Why would you say that, Mary? Because I think the percentages are very good for him if he does that second serve. Yes, you're going to make some errors, but it's a much better play than staying back. Well, the point the point is, McEnroe, on both his serve, which has already been broken, and return a serve, yeah. has to take the aggressive posture. That's right. And that that's You can't call that a high percentage against a guy like Lendl. I think it's higher than the alternative. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> the alternative is, is losing. Mm. 1530. That was a shot that was successful for Lendl yesterday that when he gets this shot he hits that very heavy top spin and it clears the net by a good eight to ten feet and bounces up very high we've talked about the bounce of the ball here in Montreal this week and that one got up round about McEnroe's shoulder and he lost control of the forehand drive there are no surprises left when these two play each other that's what Lendl says we just go out and slug it out if anybody gives anything away it'll be, that'll be a surprise that's exactly as it is. They've played, as we said, 30 times. They know each other's games intimately. That was an unbelievable second serve. McEnroe is going to go up and check the mark or have a look at the forehand drive. But pinpoint accuracy, that second serve, and that's where Lendl's been having his problems this week, with double faults on the second serve. Still hasn't gotten his first serve in, and yet he's up. Point for game. 40-30. Oh! Same thing yesterday. Very, very low percentages in the first set and a half. Oh, yeah. Great approach there from McEnroe, and as Mary said, this is what he has to do, and uh, he's smart enough, and he has the experience that when he gets that short ball, they've played one another enough times to know what is required there. He gets the short ball, gets the shoulder turn, makes the approach, and covers the one down the line. Good stretch on that volley. One thing that you'll notice with Yvonne Lendl also in the first four or five games, he likes to go down the line with that backhand until he gets grooved and he gets the rhythm on that down the line backhand. He won't try too many approach shots cross court. Winner. Passing a great approach on that one. And a break point. Lendl's first serve so far on a... Okay, with 
on a permanent vacation, as you hear Lindell complaining about the serve, at least the lines person behind McEnroe when he's serving, moving to try to get a good look at where the ball bounces. Still no first serve. McEnroe knows how important this early stage of the match is for him to get on track on that return. He's hit a couple of brilliant ones. He knows how important it is to, to convert when he gets a chance too, doesn't he? That was break point, this is deuce. Well, that's the first, that's the first big serve that Ivan Lendl has got in today. And uh, there it is, right out wide to the backhand. And watch this, though, from behind the baseline. McEnroe in pretty good position there. It's just pace of shot going into that off forehand that wins the point for him. two games to love this Jerry tennis stadium is jammed again today and just as everybody expected it would be it's a sellout of course standing room only here you can uh, see it looks like a baseball deal there behind isn't it this is looking that camera shot uh, was from the stand you're looking at now into what was the baseball stadium here 10,000 people plus Thought we might miss a few this morning because of all the rain we had, but uh, no dice there. They're here in force. That's what we were talking about, that Lendl's tactics against this guy is just to open the shoulders. Now, you can't hit anything harder than the way he cracked that one. McEnroe won in Lyon. He beat Jacob Hlasek of Switzerland, tiebreaker second set. Then he won the WCT in Dallas, beating Lendl in the semifinals. And Brad Gilbert, who's in the final town in Cincinnati, beat Becker yesterday. Oh. He'll play Stefan Edberg in the final there, the ATP Championships. What a year Gilbert has had. What a summer. Brad Gilbert in four straight weeks. That ties a record that Ivan Lendl set back in 1982 when he had, actually, he had six straight finals in six weeks and he won four of them. But Gilbert's going for that too. I mean, he, this great chance Gilbert will be seated in the top eight, possibly even seven at the U.S. Open, which means he could play, he could play Becker again in the quarterfinals. <laughs> confidence build. I mean, he was in the final in Washington, uh, and he lost to Tim Mayotte, who gives him such a hard time when they, every time they play. But uh, since then, I like what unbeatable. Gilbert, I like what Gilbert says. I mean, you, you know, Brad, we've, we've had him all summer. Yeah. He says, well, if I get seated in the top eight, I get a good parking spot at the open. That's what I want. Another huge backhand return winner off of McEnroe. And he's just climbing all over McEnroe's serve. This thing wasn't, uh, the direction of it wasn't bad, but there wasn't a lot on it. Lindell had all kinds of time to do with it, what he wanted. He hasn't break. chipped anything yet, Lindell. Just nailed everything that, that he could get his racket on. Two off break the, points. Sorry. sorry, Cliff, off the ground or on the return of serve. <gasps> That's the lob for a winner, and McEnroe is broken for the second time. Lindell's on a roll. Three games to love behind two serve breaks. 